Hi guys, welcome back. This is OnePlus 3 running the Android Nougat. Yep, you had right. This is the official first beta build, not the public build. So this is a, actually upgraded to the previous open beta 7, which I have shown you last week. And uh, this is based on the Android Nougat 7.0, not the 7.0, which is official. So this is a first impression video, guys. And it's, this video is going to be a little bit longer. So because I need to cover a lot of details, this is the first build for the Android Nougat. So stay tuned, guys. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of information here. And just for comparison, I am taking my Google Pixel XL, which is running the Android Nougat 7.1. So it will be nice to see like uh, how the Oxygen OS is got modified compared to the what we have in the stock uh, Android Nougat. Also, we'll be talking about like uh, what kind of installation issues, anything I got or not. So first we'll talk about the installation. So installation of this, uh, I just downloaded the complete flash ROM file. So I flashed it. So the size was 1.3 gigabytes and I installed that using trap recovery. The version was 3.2.0-20 and it should be working for you too. And you can, if your device is not rooted, no need to worry about it. Just go to the official OnePlus website where you will download the link. This ADB site load method and already I have shown you a few days back how to install OT or flash or chip with OT. Uh, with the ADB side load so just watch the video you will easily get installed that so let's get started and first see what is the official change log according to the oneplus so as you can see here this is the official uh, oneplus forum so already I've shown you a lot of time so this is what uh, is a description mentioned so some things are mentioned here like uh, updated to android nougat 7.1 new notification design new settings multi window view notification direct priority custom dpi support and status bar icons options so, so many things are there and some things are broken too like android pay may not work performance stability issues we will talk uh, soon here on that and after upgrading to android and this is important point after upgrading to android and you will not be able to directly downgrade back to M build that means marshmallow builds which was a beard that open beta 7 or 3.2.8 so uh, there is a dedicated build they have created so you have to roll back with a new build i guess you need to do a complete factory reset so we have already seen uh, the change lock now let's see inside what are the new things we got so this is the default log cns launcher that is here in the community build so guys uh, let me tell you i'm already using community build from so long time so uh, when i use this android nougat i did found that most of the features are common uh, like the gestures feature display feature so that will be there because that's why the company is uh, in, uh, you know adding new new features but this is based on the android nougat so you're going to get some new features like multi window quick replies from here and new settings layout menu layout so these things are there so the first thing you're going to notice is the new redesign notification panel so you can see uh, this is how you will get this is already in the oxygen as a community build but i want to show you guys kind of animation that you will get see this is play store if you just slide it down you're going to get this new layout and this is quick direct reply things so similar thing you can also get in the android uh, nougat official so you can individually and dismiss any notification you can see and uh, kind of things here so i will show you guys how the quick reply works and let me just send you guys quick lot of uh, tweets from here so you can get a better feel and uh, how does it looks like if i send some tweet from here so you can see a lot of things are there so everything is getting inside that all the messages are getting merged here so uh, with that you can easily reply from here that's what is called quick reply if you just click here type anything you can send from here itself it is gone so that's the new feature actually and it's the same as android nougat as you can see so whatever you send from here you will get from here and you can easily dismiss single notification like you can dismiss from here all right so this is the thing that is going to get that now let's swipe down and see how you're going to get that this is the new layout and it's especially same what we had in community and open beta just click here so just a reference we take here to so you can see uh, most things are there a new gpu profile rendering here show layouts bond this is actually for the developers of we don't need to worry about and you got this vpn2 log button and night mode is already there which was there in the community in open beta 2 so going inside further you can see and uh, some slight changes compared to the oxygen's default android stock so once you slide more then you're going to get the setting but here this is there this is 7.1 feature so hopefully in the future you're going to get this things too okay so jump inside this setting the first thing you will notice you got this new hamburger layout which is here in the stock this is like something you're going to get this uh, stock so uh, this will be working in any place suppose you are inside this any status bar just slide here you can go back to the default stock 
main setting menu so and you can see there is a peak previews there uh, like kind of wi-fi you are connected and kind of bluetooth is turned on and off so this is pretty much android nougat specific things are there so like adaptive brightness and sound percentage battery level storage uh, which is user signed in name default number of application install so these things carry out from the stock android applications so these things are there so one more important point is in the android nougat if you just get inside and enable system ui tuner so you're going to get this power control notification we just go to others and click this uh, actually this is not working enable split screen swipe up gesture i don't know why it is not working but it should work so power notification control so once you do that so if you just click on any application actually you can control how the application looks like and one more important guys so since i'm using android nougat from six to seven months from now so there's a detailed video a lot of videos i have created for android nougat tips and tricks so i'll put the playlist link so make sure to watch that you're gonna get so many you know useful information and new thing for tips and tricks for the android nougat so all things i have covered that i'm showing you in just small preview now there is another android nougat feature like quick jump to the private previous menu so if you just uh, suppose i was in the setting and previously i was uh, in this twitter so i can directly double tap here the your recent app switcher button you can see if i just double tap here i'm gonna go back to the previous app that was open so that's very nice way actually you can go from here to whatever you were doing so this is very uh, good things to see okay and now getting inside further to setting i'm going to show something else so taking a look further so we have already seen this power control notification and going back and you can also adjust the screen size too actually uh, the font was too big so i just got get inside this display and you can actually change the font size so if i just increase it a bit so you can see everything looks uh, bigger so you can adjust in that way because i like to have a bigger display that's why i change that maybe i'll do it later so these things are there from the previous community build so if you are on those builds so you might have seen these things too and you can see sounds ringer battery so battery i need to check that i will just full charge from here and let's see when i make a complete two discharge then i will get a better idea so you need to stay tuned for that and the battery backup should be good because my pixel is giving me near to six hours somewhere it's five and a half hour to six hours so i'm sure this is gonna give me a good backup so these things we have already seen so and uh, yeah now guys we will see how the multi-window works in the android nougat running on the oneplus 3 so first of all this important point to know not all applications are supported so your app manufacturer has to add this feature so just to give you an example so this is native setting app it should work and this is the twitter it is working there so to enable multi-window feature you need to first open an application and try to uh, press this uh, long long press the you know quick action uh, app button or you can say one that if you just click here uh, so you see it is not working so to get that feature you need to actually use the software button so once i use this uh, on screen navigation bar now if i click here you can see i got this multi-window support working so this is now settings and twitter both are working in the same place to exit from the multi-window you just have to press it for a couple of seconds it's exit so if you're again going to use that software button so you're not going to this uh, dedicated capacitive keys so you're not going to get that feature let's see advanced so these things are there from the previous community will nothing new here backup and reset and you can easily jump from here just click here that is also previous settings were there and you can actually configure that say this is airplane mode here if i just click here so these uh five toggles actually this is five you can see and android nougat 7.1 one brings six styles so I'm, I'm sure in the next will when the one plus get uh, the 7.1 so you're going to get the six style with some different layout so this is same actually we are going to get these things also here so that's it guys pretty much we have covered for this uh, what kinds of new settings and things are there so mostly we have seen all the stuff my type windows not working and swipe to just just not working this is uh, also not working in my pixel you need to just swipe here this is work so this should work like that so it's not working but it is working in my nexus 6p which i'm filming right now so uh this is what we have seen for the settings now the some of the important questions when you stall that so when try to flash that i got some error like a couple of lines of error i missed to take photo so it will show you some red error log so don't bother about that installation will take just a minute so i'm really shocked because it's too fast to stall and once you install that and once you reboot so you will find that some you're getting some error like settings is not working when you try to slide down here and click on this one this is not working so 
I don't know why it is not working, but uh, once you reboot the phone, uh, things will get start working fine. And regarding the battery, as mentioned, guys, uh, give me guys two days. As always, I will give you guys the best result whether how's the battery backup going on and whether you should upgrade that to build this or not. So I will recommend you not to do that because as we have seen in the change log, so there's a detailed video customer support is working on for the marshmallow. So there are some issues, and since this is the first preview build, so I I will say at least wait for the next preview build just in case, guys. Uh, if you're not worried about losing something and because then definitely go and update that it's not a big deal to update this thing here now let's talk about the geek benchmark and performance issues so this is the current benchmark ranking for the uh, geek benchmark 4 for the android nougat so this is we got was 1753990 for the multi-core and if you talk about the previously when it was open beta 7 so we got 1724 and this is 3998 so i don't think so there is a much improvement because the device is working pretty much great now talking about the interview benchmark so as you can see here we got the 154 uh, 702 so that's actually pretty great score so comparing the same with the uh, older one so we the score was 152558 there is a bit improvement in the end to do but i don't think so there is a huge performance improvement so device was working great and as usual in the previous spills and this current spill too so pretty much we have seen everything guys the performance issues and everything here so finally conclusion whether you should be upgrading that or not so i will request you to wait for the next build or still you want to update so at least wait for two days until i test it completely like what are the total broken issues what things are working or not so maybe that things can guide you and let me know in the comments in case you have a concern is quite you can also uh, ask me on you know, twitter as a gi support so just want to say thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys find the video helpful in case you did do hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like that this is sarah i'll catch you guys next video have a great day